previously on Eugene's A Traveling Drummer's Diary. Honduras, Guatemala, and Mexico. This episode is the second part of the Central and South American tour I did with Vital Remains in 2017, and it will cover my adventures in Bolivia, Chile, Argentina, and Uruguay. La Paz, a really unique and exotic place. First of all, as you can see, I'm dressed. That means it was really cold there, around zero degrees Celsius. July is being the coldest month here. It is a rather drastic change from the previous places we have been to on this tour, which inevitably led me to getting sick. More on this later. Tip number 30. Make sure you double check the average temperature at places you go tour to during that specific time of the year and bring proper clothes. Still quite humid here, but the most notable thing about this place is the altitude. The airport was located at more than 4,000 meters above sea level. It was hard to breathe, my heart was pounding like crazy. The whole city is built in a valley and the city center is roughly 1,000 meter lower than the airport. Unfortunately for us, it was not only zero degrees outside but inside our hotel as well. I took a blanket to get warm till the other guys figured out what's next. The promoter tried to convince us to stay here saying that Cataclysm was spending the night in this hotel and everybody survived. Apparently if you name your band like that, you can survive any kind of real life Cataclysm on this planet including La Paz weather. Tip number 31. Band names might give you actual superpowers? Choose wisely in case it's true. After some debate, we got moved to a different hotel that actually was heated. This is Jose. This is Eugene. I have previously mentioned the doing laundry on tour topic and I'm gonna do it now as well because it is a very important one. Since we had a day off in La Paz, I could use the time to wash some clothes. An ironing board might come in handy although its powers are quite limited. Tip number 32. An ironing board is perfect for drying socks and underwear in a short amount of time. Not shirts or pants though. As I have already told you, I had a fever and headache because of the cold. Bolivia, we're still alive. Elevation 12,000 feet. Elevation 12,000 uh, kilometers. Above atmosphere. <laughs> I took some medicine right before the gig, had a one hour nap and drank some energy drinks. Probably the worst thing you can do to your body, but in the given situation plus the altitude sickness, what can I say? Show must go on. And it was probably my best performance on that tour. A near death performance so to say. Maybe it's just me, but I had a feeling that people in South America really like to get married in the same venues they go to death metal shows. My dear friends, right now we're in Bolivia, and since you all really know what altitude sickness is, here's what they recommend to ease your pain. Cocaine leaf. Chew and spit out. Dude, you'll only live once. Three for luck. Tip number 33. Chewing coca leaves help you against altitude sickness. It is perfectly legal and can be bought in any regular drugstore. Next day morning, we had some really nice breakfast before leaving. At some point, the floor is more comfortable than the benches. I remember that one hour nap in the airport literally cured me. I'm what they call a survivor. Cochabamba is roughly at 2500 meters above sea level. Still pretty high, but definitely not as extreme as La Paz. Much warmer. I still had fever, but felt better. I feel a little bit better. Welcome to Cochabamba. We had a really cool cab to the venue. So now I'm gonna show you a really awesome customized taxi. It's probably Japanese or something like that. Well, they just said, F it, I want the steering wheel on the left side. Yeah. I got a Pearl Masters that night, a gorgeous kit to say the least. But unfortunately, that show had poor attendance despite the fact that it was a Saturday. The thing I really didn't like is the height of the stage. It was at least two meters. People standing right in front of it couldn't see a thing. I played a couple of stages like this before. It might be okay if there is a barrier so the crowd is further away, but not that night. Very important. The bathrooms were top class at that venue. Luckily, we didn't stay there for long because we had a lobby call at 420. We have got a Cochabamba catering. It was time for us to leave this high and cold place and go chill in Chile. 
but then our flight was delayed and because of a short layover in Buenos Aires we missed our flight to Santiago. The really awesome Bolivian Airlines refused to rebook us for another flight and barely agreed to compensate our cancelled gig by providing us with accommodations for that night. Unfortunately there was no way we could make it to Chile on time so that was minus one gig. Since the show was not happening in Santiago and we were supposed to have a day off after Chile and Buenos Aires, that meant that we would spend three whole days there so it was time to catch up on sleep, eat properly and do some sightseeing. The hotel provided us with really good breakfast. We had some amazing steak with wine the other day and walk around the city a bit. Unfortunately the weather wasn't really good so that's all we could do. This is Budapest. European as f. No need to say those three days were a lifesaver. We recharged our batteries so to say and next day morning after breakfast we headed to the airport for a short flight to Montevideo, Uruguay. Uruguay was a pleasant surprise, not that I was expecting something really bad but after all the exotic and extreme places we visited I didn't know what to expect. We didn't have much sleep, but this was more or less the only opportunity to go to the beach on this tour, so I took it. Так, як ви тут, короче, бачите, тут були ретраки. Вони файно утрамбували этот наш пляж. Since it was middle of July, which means winter in South America, the water was maybe around 15 degrees Celsius or less. Just perfect. You need to be careful while doing this. You can't afford getting sick over some silly adventures on tour. Tip number 34. Make sure you get warm immediately after swimming outdoors in cold weather. to be done. This episode ends here. Next time we will visit Brazil for the last four shows on this tour. Hope you enjoyed my travels as much as I did. See you next time. Eugene out. Psst. Are you still here? Make sure you check out these as well.